I just did a bad thing. Aye, aye. <laughs> I knew this would make us horny. So that means another realistic vlog coming your way. Realistic vlog coming your way. New York City. The real life of me in New York City. Okay, tired today. Very tired. I went to sleep really late. I've w <laughs> the last two nights I've gone back into old ways. Going to sleep late. Like 3 a.m. From going to sleep at like 10 p.m. every night to going to sleep at 3 a.m. Yeah. and still like waking up at like 8. That's not enough sleep, Savannah. I feel groggy. I admit it. I wish I could have an early night, but it's Bachelor. It's Bachelor Monday. So is Savannah gonna have an early night? No. Because it's Bachelor Monday and priorities. It's Bachelor. If you can take one guess, what's in this cup? I will follow you on Instagram if you get it right. So guess it, put your Instagram, and I'll follow you if you can guess what's in this cup. I wonder who's gonna get it right. My nails are just breaking. I was watching my old vlogs and I had acrylics in every single vlog and they looked so good and now, oh. MJ loves to preach about leading by example. <laughs> we come out of this together. They look cute together. Yeah. Because you're lying. Her skin is flawless. Hi guys, you're in bed with me. How do you feel? <laughs> I've been putting castor oil on my eyebrows and my eyelashes and my hair and really like massaging it into my scalp because apparently castor oil makes your hair grow. We are on the chapter of really nice this is the energy one okay it's 9 15 off to class i'm going to solid call right now last time i went to solid call i couldn't laugh or sneeze or move my abs it's so hard I'm walking back from work, it's 8pm. I am tired. I think I'm going through an identity crisis because I can't stick with one hair colour. If you've noticed, in my previous vlogs, I change hair. I go from blonde, I go to light brown, I go to dark brown, and then I'm really dark brown now. I think the only excitement I'm getting is changing my hair colour at the moment. So I was like, you know what, let me change my hair colour for Valentine's Day because new bitch, Valentine's Day, who, what? Me. My brown hair was just like boring me. I was like, I'm not boring, I'm fucking lit. I'll be like, I'll be this colour for a while and then I'm like, I'm bored, I want to change my colour. Do I like this? I think I need to be tanned though. I'm honestly just chatting shit now because I'm fucking tired. What am I even going to eat? I'm not even going to eat because I can't be bothered to cook. Oh my god, it's so cold. This is a pill that I take. I swear down I have been shadow banned on TikTok. None of my shit does well anymore. That's why I don't post on TikTok. During a five, so you start tacos that you make, a hundred and cherry. And what I do to the people I do it. Hello. Hello. Night time, it's bedtime. I had a good day today. I had a good day today. Starting off with my exercise really, really helped my day. I just need to finish this now. Been reading it for too long. What am I grateful for today? Grateful that I got my workout in. 
grateful that I made money and went to work today. Grateful for my new look. I've got darker hair. Good night, my G's. I'll see you in the morning. Mwah. I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm aching, okay? So, today, today's been a day. Um, I had work, came back from work, and just the, the journey back home was just not nice. And it made me turn into one of those like rude New York people. And I was like, oh, I don't like what I'm becoming. I was such, I was in such a hurry to get home that I was just like in a mood. The, the trains were delayed, so that was making me moody. Everyone was in my way, and I was just like getting really like agitated really easily and easily really quickly. And I was like, that's not me. Like, that's not me. Like, what am I doing? And like, even like the thought of me living in New York and totally left my brain. I was so adamant to get home that I just didn't care. Like, I just didn't care where I was. I didn't care that I was in New York. I just wanted to get home. And then I just had to take a step back. I was like, Savannah, chill out. Chill out. Like, what's the hurry of getting home? Just because you're tired, just because you've been at work, like, chill out. The trains kept changing. I was getting really angry. And I was like, you know what? I'm, get, I'm, get, I'm getting out wherever I am. So I got so out I got wherever out I was. I think it was like 23rd Street or something. I got out and I just went for a walk. I was like, I need to look at New York and just be like, like I'm here. Yeah. Take it in. Just chill. Like, I had to just look around at my surroundings and say, oh. I'm so grateful that I'm here. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And I looked around at my surroundings and said, I'm so lucky to be here. And it's so easy to be caught up in your everyday life and you forget where you are. And I have completely done that. I'm becoming one of those people that just go on the subway and just go back and forth from work and then just moan about their life. Don't miss out on the joys of life. Savannah, listen, listen to, to yourself. yourself. Gratitude is the great multiplier. Get some castor oil in that scalp of mine. I just want to grow my hair. I always do that. Too much always comes out. And my problem is I'll grow my hair and it'll be quite long and then I'll be like, actually I want short hair again and I'll, and I'll cut it. Sometimes I like my hair short, sometimes I like my hair long. Does anyone feel me on that? Does anyone, does anyone relate? Or am I just being stupid? It's 8.36. I'm about to do some schoolwork and then I'm going to watch This Is Us. I'm starting to watch um, Euphoria, the new two episodes of Euphoria. I look like those Russian hats that you get. What? Should I do a workout tomorrow? Isn't it funny how we want to be hairy in some places but then no hair in other places? If you know what I mean. Um, my day was good, thank you. I was just working and now I'm doing schoolwork. One of the most important things, friends disagree at times. They're still their friends. that you guys see me in is ridiculous. I've literally just woken up and went to get my green tea matcha. Just made me some porridge. It's February the 11th, it's a new moon. I've been doing my rituals, I had a meditation. I'm about to manifest, I'm about to write down a load of things that I want to achieve in the new month, in the new moon, in the new period. Set a worthwhile intention. So for example, it can be obtain a new job that brings me fulfillment. Just something to keep you focused on what you're really looking for. Begin something new. The new moon is the most fertile day of the lunar cycle each month. If there was a perfect time for initiating anything new, it would certainly be the new moon. 
start a new class, apply for that job, ask that person on a date, start anything and everything you feel passionate about. Now is the perfect moment to begin anew. I want to learn how to DJ. New Moon is a great time to get out of the house since a new moon is great for meeting new people. Don't spend time with energy suckers. So another exercise for you guys, basically me and my friend Shakara, we wrote down we wrote down everything that we want in our lives in a year's time as if we were meeting each other like for lunch explaining what had happened in our lives basically you just explain everything so well to the point where you believe it so you're like visualizing it me and shakara did it to each other and we both said that we were in la funny you didn't explain that well basically me and shakara didn't know what we were writing to each other like we didn't know what each other was writing so the fact that i said me and shakara met up in la she said me and savannah met up in la and we both didn't know that we were going to say la we've not even mentioned la to each other ever but we both said la that's just craziness but anyway that's a great exercise to do with one of your friends really recommend it I don't think the cold weather is for me. Spending January and February in New York made me realise that the cold is not for me. This is the real New York, ladies and gentlemen, where you just put your garbage on the streets. That right there is the real New York. I just never got that concept when I came out here and I saw that people's trash was on the was on the sidewalks. I was like, why is everyone putting their trash on the sidewalks? It's just so disgusting. And it's a bit dirty, like, that's why there's rats here, man. Garbage. Guys, I just did a bad thing. <laughs> I have a shopping addiction. As you can see, I just left Urban Outfitters, 200 dollars down oh my god you know what you know what savannah you deserved it i came out to new york with one suitcase one i only brought like summer clothes because it was still hot out here in september i had no winter clothes so i've been buying a lot okay being here in new york um yes i have been buying things along the way and then recently my body has decided to change drastically to the point where i can't fit in my old clothes that i bought in september my booty has got bigger so there's no clothes that make me feel sexy at the moment so that's why i went to urban outfitters today 200 dollars later <laughs> i just found a lot of things that i liked in urban outfitters like a lot So we're watching um, the Britney Spears documentary and it's actually so sad. A family court judge suspended Spears right to even see Drink this. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It is Friday. I'm on my way to a solid core class. I'm about to to get fucked up. So I drank nearly all of the gallon last night. I woke up in the middle of my sleep five times to go to the toilet. Why the hell did I drink all that water just before sleep? Like, But I got a lot of water intake yesterday, which is great. Um, it's minus five today. I really wanna start um, uploading twice a week. My friend Emily messaged me yesterday. She was like, please, can you upload twice a week? Because I can't wait till Sunday. <laughs> and he made me smile. I was like, that's so cute. Don't know if that's going to be overwhelming. Don't know. But I was thinking maybe doing my Monday to Friday realistic week. And then a weekend in New York realistic vlog. Oh, I'm going to the sex museum tonight. That's exciting. It's a Valentine's special. So I will take you to the sex museum tonight. It's going to be fun. We're getting dressed up. All the girlies are going single girls to the sex museum. Okay, look who I'm back with. Hi, everybody. I know you guys are <laughs> So we just did a solid core class, and oh my Jesus, I think it was the hardest That's one. <laughs> guys, we are out tonight. We yes, we are. Out. Baby. It's a blow, baby. I knew this would make us horny. I <laughs> yeah. yeah. So 
I'm treating myself to a full body massage on Monday and I honestly have never been so ready in my life for that shit. I'm also trying to think of my plan for April. My lease ends on this apartment. I've already been here six months. How crazy is that? Control my thinking patterns. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, bitch! Hey, hey. Let's put on back to the street. Duncan Coffee, Kelly, Valentine's Day. What more do I want? I know that. Guys, wait, do you have Duncans in the UK? No. Oh, wait, do we? This weekend has been an absolute event. Like, I've absolutely loved it. Like, what a vibe. Who is it? Um, this weekend has been so much fun. The most sociable I've been in, in this whole year. Can they wait? Oh my gosh, I'm so popular. What the fuck? I'm exhausted. Basically, for Valentine's Day, I was like, you know what? All the girls should get together that I've met since moving to New York. So I was like, let me get them all together so they can all meet each other, all be friends, you know? And it was so nice to be with a group of girls. But yeah, today is Monday. It's a self-care day. I've booked myself in for a hot stone full body massage. I'm so excited for that. I'm just deprived of touch. Like, someone... <laughs> no one's touched me in so long. I'm just gonna journal right now. Me and Jackie are actually gonna go to Starbucks and treat ourselves to a green tea matcha latte. Yeah. sociable very hectic fun 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 sociable sociable but now i just needed a monday where i was like you know what self-love self-care i'm absolutely freezing i don't know where i'm going We made it 
Ahem, everyone. Um, where do you want? Our oven bed is like smoking. Oh. Imagine. I want to do this. That's horrendous. Look how they're I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you had a beautiful Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day. If you made it to the end of the vlog, I would love to see what you love about yourself. Love yourself first and everything else falls into line. I want to see you comment what you love about yourself. I love bum 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 bum. I love that I bum 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 bum. I love that I am an independent woman. I love that I am able to do what I love every single day. Just something that you love about yourself. Let's let's do that self-love ting. So if you made it to the end comment that self-love ting what do you love about yourself i'm absolutely exhausted i've been too sociable this weekend i'm not going to be sociable for another 10 years i'm out i'm going to watch some of this is us and read my book and um i'm done this is a long vlog hope you enjoyed it i love you i love you I can see you